Hello, and welcome to Conversations with Dr. Stephen Greer. My name is Charlie Baylog, and I am one of the staff members at CSETI, the Center for the Study of Extraterrestrial Intelligence, founded by Dr. Greer in 1991. I'm pleased to be hosting the show today for Dr. Greer, and I will be introducing two very special guided meditations he recorded that are included on a CD with his book, Hidden Truth, Forbidden Knowledge. The book is available on the Disclosure website at disclosureproject.org. The two meditations you will be hearing today are routinely used during our Ambassador to the Universe trainings, which are held several times a year in various locations around the country, and more recently in England as well. At these trainings, which are six days long, Dr. Greer teaches people how to initiate contact with extraterrestrial civilizations through the use of what we call coherent thought sequencing, or CTS for short. CSETI is the only organization in the world devoted to this very special and important effort at contact, or what we call the CE5 initiative. A CE5 is defined as human initiated contact or close encounter of the fifth kind. It's the only serious effort of its kind in the world, and no other organization is actively engaged in this activity in such a serious and concerted manner. I would also add that no other organization has had as much success as CSETI has had in this effort. The first guided meditation you're about to hear is a unique experience in which Dr. Greer describes the nature and structure of the universe and our place in it. This could normally be presented in the form of a lecture. However, the scope and breadth of these concepts cannot fully be appreciated through a dry nuts and bolts type of commentary. Therefore, Dr. Greer presents this profound information within a guided meditation and from within the boundless realm of unity consciousness. It's about 31 minutes long, so make sure you're in a comfortable place and ready to be still for that amount of time. Both this meditation and the one that follows include a very powerful prayer for the healing of the earth and the enlightenment of her people. With this in mind, here is Dr. Greer. Let's close our eyes. Be in a relaxed state. Allow yourself to hear and understand, but also see and experience as we share the unfolding of the order and structure of the cosmos from the infinite to the most manifest creation. And as we sit here in silence at this beautiful spot on earth, let us begin to center within ourselves and sense that we are awake. Now, take some deep breaths of this pure, life-filled air and allow your diaphragm to expand as you inhale through your nose and then exhale fully through your mouth. And as you inhale, see your entire mind and body being filled with the life and light and energy around us. And as you exhale, see yourself becoming completely relaxed and all stresses and all negativity leaving your mind and your body and being swept away in the wind and cleansed by the infinite wisdom of Mother Earth. With each breath, bring in a new and higher level of energy and awakeness. And with each expiration, dive deeper in a state of complete silence and relaxation and release yourself of any limitations or negativity. Let them be swept away in the vastness and the purifying influence of Earth. Feel yourself breathing with Mother Earth as she gives us this air and as she takes from us the breath as we exhale and breathe in the conscious life and light of this infinitely wise mother and release into the earth all of your worries and concerns all of your pain and suffering and find yourself in a state of perfect equanimity and peace 
now very gently without straining the mind allow yourself to observe your own breath as it goes in and out as you are in a perfect state of quiet and peace and as you are observing your breath gently see the awake mind that is watching the breath see it is steady and ever present what is watching the breath see that there is an awakeness within yourself that is steady and unchanging observing all things peaceful and as you see your breath rising and falling going in and out in this beautiful peaceful state you also see that the mind that is watching quietly is an infinite ocean of awakeness. Now we dive into this vast ocean and allow ourselves to go very, very deeply into quiet and peaceful conscious mind that observes all things. And we behold that the breath of our life, the sounds around us, the thoughts that rise and fall and come and go within the mind, all that we hear and see and feel and touch and know is now submerged in this vast ocean of awakeness. And very gently, we go ever more deeply diving into that awake mind and we see that even our individuality that which we call I ourselves is but a window now a very clear and pure window through which this infinite light of awareness is shining and in this moment we see it was as we dive now more deeply into this ocean of consciousness that it is an awake infinite single omnipresent field of awakeness as it shines through our own individuality and it is this awakeness which enables us to watch our breath to hear the sounds to see the sights to observe the thoughts and to even apprehend our own selves leaving then this small self behind let us dive completely in freedom as we would into an infinite ocean into this beautiful and infinite conscious mind and we see then that we are awake and that this awakeness is a singularity always indivisible shining within all beings and that every one of us sitting here together and every being on earth and every being in the cosmos is awake by this same unbroken indivisible light of consciousness the mind in its unbounded and infinite true nature then soaring on the wings of this infinite mind as we would through the vastness of a fathomless ocean we see that each of us is one and that this silent absolute infinite and eternal awake being is standing within all things shining within each atom moving every photon illuminating every soul shining from every star and as we see in this instant that the entirety of creation and all that exists is this same awakeness shining moving phasing in unique shapes and forms it is all one it is indivisible it is eternal within the field of this absolute awakeness 
we see that because it is beyond space, it is infinite, and because it is not bound by any point in time, it is eternal. And yet in its fullness, without division, it is present at every point in space and every point in time. And in this we see the state of divine perfection, perfect harmony and oneness. And being thus centered in this awakeness which is infinite, we begin to explore the structure of the cosmos. And we see that this omnipresent awakeness and the infinite manifest creation are perfectly one. And yet within the sphere of that which is relative, there are distinctions. Being then established in this infinite cosmic mind, let us gaze into the finest level of its manifestation as this infinite being and this eternal mind through the operation of its own will, takes on the form of the Creator. Moving then within the realm of infinity, the Creator aspect of this infinite mind and being exists as the primal source that manifests and maintains the entire universe and the entire creation. And the first emanation from this infinite and absolute mind is a sound a thought, the sound vibration of which has within it the seed sound and idea of all that has been, all that is, and all that will be. And from this primal thought, issuing forth from the infinite and divine oneness of the conscious being of the divine mind, we see the cosmos becoming manifest and differentiated. And from this primal thought, issuing forth from the morn of eternity, we see within this primal thought and sound the thought and seed idea for all things, all places, all ideas, all structures, all forms, all sounds, all that can be and will ever be, and ever was, in the entirety of creation. And so we perceive this primal thought and this primal sound, which are one, differentiating into an infinite number of realities. And within one, we can see a star, and within another, an apple, and within another, we see our own individuality and self, and with another we see our friends, and within another we see the grass, and within another we see the wolf, and within another we see the earth, and within another we see other worlds. Thus, in infinite progression, the seed idea forms each with their own primal thought and sound issuing forth from this most great thought through the operation of will of the Creator rises forth from the silent eternal being. And as we perceive this becoming more manifest, we see within this great being the most great light. And from this primal thought and this most elemental beautiful sound, issues forth the form of the perfect light, the perfect form, which has within it all of the creation, and the infinite cosmic creation is suffused in light, emerges and unfolds within our vision. And in this most great light, we see then the form of all that there can be, and within this world of light, an ocean of infinite light, we see that every form is manifest, and corresponding to the sound and thought vibration for an apple, issuing forth from the primal thought and tone, we behold the astral light form of an apple, 
and so too within each created thing, whether it be a wolf, or a tree, or a star, or a world. And all of it is there, both in perfect oneness with the awake mind of the Creator who created it, and in its own fullness as a perfect creation, first in thought, then in form, and then in light. And so we see this infinite light expanding and becoming differentiated, and the vast celestial worlds unfold before our vision, and worlds infinite and divine are stretched out around us in all directions, infinitely extending through space and time. And so we behold the structure and the light of the celestial blueprint for the entirety of creation and the universe and all that exists within the world of change and expression and time and space. And as this begins to become more differentiated, we see that within this world of light exists the perfect sound and seed idea of each thing. And within each sound is the primal tone. And as we dive more deeply, we see the awake creator itself manifesting the entire creation, pouring within it this unbroken, singular awake mind, whereby we are all conscious at this moment, in this time, in this space. And seeing this firmly within us, we now behold the material creation being supported through the fine crystalline form of the world of astral light and emanating from the blueprints of the form within the astral worlds of light emerge the baseline form of energy which supports every atom, every electron, which supports all the forces of manifest creation and the material cosmos. And so we see emerging, manifesting and expressing from this vast celestial creation the differentiated and perfect worlds of light and then the physical reality of the express, expressed material universe. And so we see our own star, the sun, emerging from this perfect astral sun, which has emerged from the most great light, and which has within it the perfect idea form from the sun, emerging from the primal sound and primal thought, issuing forth from the will of the infinite creator. And so with each thing we contemplate, we see it unfolding before us, whether it be a blade of grass, an animal, our own individualities and bodies, worlds far from here with peoples who are conscious even as we are, all of it emerging from this perfect template of the astral worlds of light, which are unfolding from the most great light and the finest level of celestial light which is issuing forth from the most great thought and the primal tone which has within it the first emanation of sound coming forth from the morn of eternity. And as we dive even further, we are left on the edge of the infinite, the timeless and the internal absolute being. And so we see this perfect unity between the infinite mind whereby we are conscious and awake and our own existence and the awakeness whereby each of us is conscious can never be divided from this single awake being standing within all things. We are never divided and never separate from anything. And then as we gaze in all directions around us, 
we behold a perfect divine order, and that this great being, from time to time, has sent to earth and to other worlds avatars, or manifestations of divinity, who enliven entire worlds and refresh in a new springtime the entire creation. And we are filled with happiness as we see that the time of a new springtime has arrived, and an era of thousands of years of unbroken peace and enlightenment are dawning upon the earth and upon every world in the creation within the entire cosmos. Seeing then in perfection the creation, the creator, and the infinite mind, we are now aware that it is the true created reality and that this is a doorway to the infinite, and that the unbounded and infinite being is truly omnipresent, omniscient, ever abiding, at every point in space and time, and at every level of creation. And that indeed is folded within us, and within all things, a perfect quantum hologram of all that there is. And thus the entire creation and universe is folded within us. And that our own individualities, which are part of the creation, have issued forth from the Creator. And our highest state of realization is to be as nothing and to be still. We see that we are clear windows through which the infinite light of the great being is shining, and the awake mind, whereby we are conscious at this moment, is the eternal being, the infinite self, the cosmic mind, from which all things, all time, all space, is emanating. Now, let our minds rest at that point of the first emanation where awakeness begins to become relative existence, where the absolute phases into the relative existence of the cosmos and of creation. We see that within this most great thought is the seed idea of all knowledge. And at this level, everything may be known. All knowledge exists. Every science, every art, every fact, every truth. And this is folded within the reality of each of us and is a fountain that can give forth all knowledge, all science, and all truth. And we may learn to go to this spot, this place of the placeless within us and see the truth, and unravel the sciences, and know the facts, and perceive reality. On the wings of this infinite awake mind, within us, we realize that we are integrated in perfect harmony, indivisibly, with every point in space and time. Through gently, subtly, using the free will given to us by the Creator, in accordance with the divine will, all things are possible and all life is benefited. Humbly turning to this unbounded being, we may then awaken to a distant point in space or time and perceive what is happening in that place and in that time. And so it is that perchance we may fall asleep one night and perceive what will happen the next day, or the next year, or the next century, because folded within us is all time and all space. The nature of the mind within us is omnipresent, and is present within every point of creation and at every point in time and space. 
Thus we see the entirety of the universe is open to us, because the most great mind, the single awake being, is standing within all of us. And this infinite ocean of awakeness, which can never be divided, is that whereby we are simply awake. It is there whereby we are always conscious. And if we become silent and still, we may perceive this silent mind, and we may meditate upon the truth, and we may see any point in space, and we may ask any question and know the answer. And so it is that we, meaning all advanced intelligent beings, have the capacity to be at one with the unbounded being, and to use our free will to discern the divine will, and to put ourselves at service to the divine plan. And this is the apex of the achievement of our being. As we sit upon the earth, we are called to answer the needs of this time and place, even though we see that we are established in this eternal home and this infinite space. And from this deep and abiding conscious being, on the wings of this infinite awareness, we rise into the sky above us, and we are all one in spirit, and this spirit is indivisible. And in this beautiful, infinite mind, we see the earth herself, submerged in the infinity of space. And earth is an awake being herself. We see this awake being, and we feel at one with her as her children, and yet in perfect oneness with the awakeness whereby she has her own existence. As we gaze around the earth, we see the space of our solar system, and we see the earth's sisters and brothers, the other planets, and Father Son. And we see the space around us is filled with infinite light and energy, and that it is not empty, but full, and it is not dead space, but it is awake mind. We see that the entirety of space is conscious, and on the wings of that awakeness, the same awake mind folded within us, we soar through the infinity of space, and we behold a myriad worlds, and we see the entire spiral galaxy of the Milky Way, and expanding further, we go into intergalactic space, and we see billions of galaxies infinite worlds stretching out beyond us, within us, and the fullness of that unbounded space is that vast ocean of mind within each of us. We are always one with this cosmic being, and we are always awake through the cosmic mind, and at will we may then travel throughout the cosmos and gaze upon every world and see every star system. Being in this state of cosmic consciousness, we see beyond the infinite conscious material universe and see the infinite astral worlds of light within them. And beyond, we see the perfect idea form and sound sustaining the forms of light and the infinite material cosmos. And we are one with the Creator, and we are one with creation. And in this state, we see that the Creator and the creation are one, and that within us, we are always one with it. Being in this state of unity, we ask the celestial realm, the angelic beings, the manifestations of God, and every conscious and enlightened being in the cosmos, to join us as we gaze upon the earth, and we invite them here. As we see the earth at this time, we see that it is emerging into a time of enlightenment, and we ask the infinite God, as all of us focus on the earth, to transform every dark thought 
into enlightenment and to send into every selfish heart the infinite love of the divine and that wherever there is hatred that it be replaced with affection and love and wherever there is greed and selfishness that it be replaced with altruism and generosity those forces on earth that we see wandering in the ignorance of hatred and greed we see being illumined with the light of knowledge and love and peace within the heart of the reality of earth and her people we see a beautiful golden light dawning and we see the earth transformed into a rose garden of peace as she goes forward from this point earth becomes one of the diadems of creation one of the genuine repositories of peace and knowledge in the cosmos in this state of peace all peoples turn to the earth and are filled with joy because the time of the fulfillment of the promise of humanity has arrived and we are here to witness that time and to usher in that reality we see ourselves joined by beings celestial astral and extraterrestrial and all the good people on earth joining with us in the exercise of our will wedded to the divine beam as we manifest that time of enlightenment and an unbroken period of thousands of years of peace sitting quietly now we see that we are joined by the angelic realm the celestial beings the astral worlds filled with our ancestors and with the beings from diverse worlds and we see that there are extraterrestrial peoples joining us and that there are people on this planet who are joining us in this conscious thought and prayer and we hold within us this thought and this vision of suffusing the earth in the golden light as it is brought in to this time of peace and all the wars will be silenced and all the suffering will end injustice will give way to justice and poverty to abundance and from destruction we will go into a time a beautiful and perfect architecture and a perfect and enlightened social order as we see this within us we now are certain that it will come to pass we see that we are joined by worlds infinite and divine as well as material and extraterrestrial the time has arrived for the old and corrupt ways to end and for the old order to be rolled up and for a new world to be unfurled the hallmark of which will be oneness peace and unbroken enlightenment for thousands of generations of children on the earth We hope that you were able to visualize and experience the concepts and imagery in that meditation. It's certainly a much more efficient way to grasp and absorb this profound information and integrate it into your store of knowledge. During this second meditation, which includes coherent thought sequencing, Dr. Rear will once again lead us into that state of universal or unity consciousness. Once that point is reached, the specific CTS contact protocols will begin. Uh, this meditation lasts about 18 minutes, and you can use this meditation as an individual or with a group. However, we strongly encourage you to do this as a group because the power of thought and directed intent increases exponentially when even a small group of people come together as a unified team with a specific and coherent purpose. This has been demonstrated time and again during the week-long trainings. It's also an essential part of developing a cohesive team effort. The team must be unified in purpose and intent. Otherwise, the success of the effort is seriously impaired. The ETs have been waiting for us to come together as a unified people, not only in terms of contact, but in our direction as a civilization. 
We have been told repeatedly that we must begin to raise our vibration and consciousness in order to meet them at least part of the way, and it has become increasingly difficult for them to materialize and physically interact with us due to the aggressive posture of certain military operations that are specifically tasked with tracking and targeting their ships as they enter our atmosphere. These rogue operations have developed and acquired powerful weapon systems that are capable of damaging their ships and their people. But this is not to say that the ETs are not capable of thwarting such systems and rendering them inoperable, but it's just another barrier that has been placed in our path in order to make the contact process more difficult. The ETs are very aware of the fact that any attempt to render these weapons and targeting systems inert would be spun inevitably as a hostile action on their part. This would set up a situation that would give these rogue operations an excuse to justify enormous funding or even more aggressive weapon systems and for declaring war on the, quote, aliens. The ETs have chosen not to act in a manner that could be construed as hostile or aggressive in any way. They have been quite effective in monitoring these systems for gaps and lapses in human attention, and this brings about opportunities for them to interact with us in various ways, which can be more overt and obvious. With this in mind, the contact protocols spe specify that we invite our friends here only when it is safe and appropriate for that particular time and place. Again, we suggest that you find a comfortable position and allow yourself to completely relax for this meditation. Once again, here is Dr. Greer. Let us sit here together in silence, centered within our own selves. Let us close our eyes and take some deep cleansing breaths from this sacred and ancient place. As we breathe in, see that we are centering and our consciousness is expanding. As we exhale, become very relaxed and release all negativity, tension and fears and feel yourself settling into a deep peace. We breathe in light and life and the expansion of mind while fully expanding our lungs. And as we exhale, we release all things, all attachments, and become perfectly centered and at peace. As we sit here together in silence, we watch our breath as it goes in and out and we see that we are centered in a vast ocean of silent consciousness gently without straining allow yourself to see the awakeness that is watching the breath observe that you are awake and that this awakeness is silent Now, see that this awake mind, which is still and steady, is observing all the sounds, the thoughts, the feelings, all perceptions, and yet the mind itself is quiet. Dive deeply into this vast ocean of quiet awareness. Going more deeply now, see that all the perceptions are receding, becoming more distant and quiet, and you are being established more deeply in this infinite ocean of awakeness within. You see that it is easy to simply be awake and perceive awakeness itself, neither pushing away other perceptions nor straining to know awakeness. Effortlessly, simply be awake 
and aware of that mind that is conscious and quiet within us. Now, settle more deeply into this ocean of quiet awareness where all perceptions are like distant ripples on the surface of the ocean. Perceive that this vast awake mind extends infinitely in all directions. And you see that this awakeness is omnipresent. It is not bound by space or time. And so it is infinite and it is eternal. This is the true nature of the awakeness whereby we perceive our own breath, our own self, sight, sounds, thoughts. We feel the joy and peace of knowing that this awake being, this mind, is ever present within us. Now, releasing ourselves from all attachment to perception or even self, we see the unbounded quality of this awakeness as universal. And every person in this circle is awake. And while we are unique individuals, the light of awareness is a singularity. And that awakeness is one. And we are being one in many bodies. One light illuminating every soul and conscious mind. We see this same vast awakeness permeating the earth beneath us and expanding into the sky above us. Omnipresent, it is awake in all places. And soaring on the wings of this vast and limitless awareness, we expand upwards into the sky and we see that the entire earth is shining in the light of this awakeness and beyond us space and the planets of our solar system all spinning, swimming in an ocean of awake cosmic mind. This simple awake mind within us is the same awake mind that permeates all things which is omnipresent, omniscient and eternal. As we expand further into the vastness of space, we see the entire solar system with the beautiful blue earth now an orb before us. And we see that she is conscious and is her own individual being. And she is awake with the same light of awareness whereby we are conscious, whereby we have awareness. The sun and all the planets each have their own conscious identification and are all unique beings. And yet the awakeness within them, within every atom, within every photon, permeating the space of our solar system, is the same awake mind that is within us now. As we expand further, we go beyond our solar system and we soar through the entire Milky Way galaxy and expand through the vastness of 100,000 light years of space. And beyond the outer edge of the Milky Way into the intergalactic space, and we behold the beautiful spiral galaxy of our Milky Way and see that he is awake, pure consciousness shining, phasing, resonating as stars and planets and an infinite number of awake beings. Gazing then beyond the space of our Milky Way galaxy, we behold intergalactic space and we see stretching in all directions an infinite and endless cosmos with billions of galaxies, each with billions of star systems and planets 
teeming with intelligent life. Now, effortlessly, we dive into this vast cosmic awareness and find the infinite peace, an infinite, endless awareness permeating the entire creation. And we behold that this cosmic mind, this omnipresent awareness, is always indivisible and is the same awakeness where we are conscious here and now and always. There is no separation. There is eternal oneness. Being thus awake, we now perceive that the universe, which is itself endless, has advanced extraterrestrial life forms, and all are awake even as we are conscious. And through this connection, we are one. We know that there is one conscious being, shining, standing within all life. And through that, we connect to them. As we gaze across the cosmos, through the galaxies, within the Milky Way, within even our own solar system and around the Earth, we allow ourselves to see any extraterrestrial people with their beautiful celestial spacecraft. And as we see them, we ask permission to gaze within. And as we see these beings, we invite them to join us here on Earth as we join together as people celebrating the time of universal peace and the establishment of an enlightened civilization on Earth. As we see each of these beings, we see that they are connected to an interplanetary council, highly evolved, spiritual, and ambassadorial in nature. We invite them to join us here as we show them our galaxy. And as we zoom in ever more closely to our solar system, we show them this beautiful planet Earth, the third planet from our star, the Sun. As we connect to their minds and to their guidance system, we show them our exact location. As we come zooming in more closely, we show them this field with our circle, and we invite them here at this time and place, in a spirit of universal peace, acknowledging our oneness with them through the universal awake being within us, this cosmic mind shared by all beings. Now, as we see these beings aware of us and in our mind's eye, we see them we ask that they join us at this time in a meditation and a prayer for Earth and for its transition to the time of its destiny as a place of peace and enlightenment. Let us now take each other's hands as we do this. As we connect with each other, we see that there are extraterrestrial beings, celestial beings, the great prophets and the enlightened ones, all joining with us. And we send from person to person around this circle, counterclockwise, a golden light in our conscious awareness, a beautiful astral light empowered with oneness, peace, and love. And as this light goes from left to right, making a beautiful circle, it becomes a perfect ring of light. And in our minds, we empower it with tremendous energy, and we send it upwards as a column of light rising from this spot, going into space as a beacon, carrying with it the love of Earth, the oneness we share, and the time of peace that we are establishing. This beacon is calling to all beings, joining with us in peace, 
and we see it connecting to every world, every star, every heart, and every life. It spreads out and diffuses throughout the cosmos this beautiful golden light. And so, too, we see this light extending into the ground and across the earth beneath us. And this light of peace and oneness and love suffuses the earth in this light, and every heart is illumined, and every mind awakened, and every dark place is filled with light. In this state of illumination, we ask the great being to give peace to the earth, to turn every selfish heart into an open fountain of love and generosity. And wherever there is hatred and enmity, we see peace being established. And wherever there is greed, we see altruism and generosity growing. And wherever we see separation and sadness, we see the joy of oneness and love. As we do this, we see the cosmos and all enlightened beings, material, celestial, and divine, joining with us, pouring forth this vision, and the earth coming to its time of peace, and the chaos ending. Now stretching before us, we see thousands of generations of humans living together in peace on the earth with wondrous new technologies and sciences that enable us to be in harmony with the earth. And with abundance we banish all disease and poverty and all injustice and all want. On the foundation of this peace and prosperity, we see the hearts of all humanity turning to the pursuit of enlightenment. And in this state, we are welcomed into the vast regions of the stars, and we become an interstellar species, and are welcomed into the family of planetary societies. As we gaze down through the ages, we ask the great being at this moment to set us forth in the direction of enlightenment. And in that instant, we see the time where every man, woman, and child abiding on earth is in a state of cosmic awareness, of God consciousness. The divine sciences and enlightenment prevail. We ask the Great Spirit that we may be channels, vehicles, tools for the establishment of this peace and the entry of humanity into enlightenment. And we see that we are joined by beings, celestial, extraterrestrial, and divine, and that we are not alone, and we have never been alone. And we ask that this great being enable us to all work together in this establishment of universal peace and a universal civilization. This we leave as our cherished gift to our children and our children's children. And we are certain that this beautiful vision is already manifest, that the Creator has already given to us the knowledge, the sciences, and the wisdom to create this world and to manifest this reality. And we consecrate our lives to the establishment of this divine civilization. Namaste. Thank you, Dr. Greer. Hopefully these meditations have given you a better sense of our philosophy of contact and how we actually conduct these efforts in the field, so to speak. Before we end the program, uh, we'd like to invite you to attend one of our upcoming Ambassador to the Universe trainings. Attendance is limited to 15 people, and if you would like to attend, it would be wise to sign up as early as possible because these trainings fill up rather rapidly. This week-long event uh, provides for an intensive training program with Dr. Greer and the C-SETI contact team. 
it's a true ex expedition uh, where each night we will go out under the stars for four to five hours and make contact using the CSETI CE5 contact protocols. During the week, you'll learn how to become an ambassador to the universe. It includes training in many advanced skills, including advanced mantra meditation, a very advanced course in the ancient Sanskrit Vedas, and advanced techniques of remote viewing, precognition, and the science of consciousness. It will also include an update on worldwide disclosure project developments by Dr. Greer and the progress uh, being made with leaders around the world. Also included are an in-depth review of new energy technologies, including free energy from the zero-point field and anti-gravity and how the world can be transformed with these new sciences. During this week, Dr. Grill will help to give you a deeper understanding of the next great cycle on Earth, one of universal peace, free energy, abundance, and enlightenment through higher states of consciousness. The very next training is scheduled for June 24th through the 30th in Crestone, Colorado. And following that will be a very special expedition to Wiltshire, England on July 24th through the 31st. We'll be visiting and meditating in ancient sites such as Avebury, Silbury Hill, Stonehenge, and other more uh, secluded locations, as well as many of the 2011 crop circles. This is a unique and spiritual experience. We'll also do field work on the site where a fully materialized 100-foot ET craft descended close to one of our uh, C-SETI teams in 1992. And we'll also revisit the locations of other events described in Dr. Greer's books, Extraterrestrial Contact, Hidden Truth, Forbidden Knowledge, and Contact Countdown to Transformation. On October 21st through the 27th, we will be in beautiful Mount Shasta, California, site of some extraordinary past encounters. And we'll also be at a desert location near Palm Springs on October 23rd through October 29th. All details of these uh, expeditions can be found at csetti.org. They will describe in full uh, everything required, including tuition costs. Both of Dr. Greer's books, Hidden Truth, Forbidden Knowledge, and Contact Countdown to Transformation, are available on the Disclosure Project website, along with a newly released collection of CDs that were primarily available only to CSETI members uh, participating in workshops and trainings. We're offering them to you now so that you'll have a background, have all the background papers, vectoring meditation, tones and equipment suggestions used by CSETI teams. Most of these materials cannot be found anywhere else. Also available is a two CD set comprising an advanced course in mantra meditation called the Cosmic Consciousness Meditation. The main track was recorded in a Zen Center meditation dome in Crestone, Colorado in July of 2007. I was uh, able to help on the production of this recording in collaboration with Dr. Greer, and uh, I composed a specific musical background based on the mantra. We're also very excited to tell you about the release of a special CSETI app for the iPhone called the ET Contact Tool. It includes a very well-organized instruction manual with over two hours of audio tutorials and guided meditations by Dr. Greer. Uh, it also includes working scientific instruments, including a magnetometer and a compass for detecting anomalous activity. Uh, there are also a series of images, sounds, and written descriptions of prior contact events. All the materials are self-contained within the app, and no web connection is required for using it. You can download the app through your iPhone or from the Apple website. Well, it looks like it's time to wrap up this edition of Conversations with Dr. Greer. We hope you've enjoyed what we've shared with you today, and uh, we certainly hope that it's been informative. We'd also like to thank the World Puja Network for hosting this important program, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition. This is Charlie Balog sitting in today for Dr. Greer, and on behalf of him and the rest of CSETI, we thank you for listening. So long.